Hey guys, it's your girl Shauna and I am back with a VSG update. I will be four months post op tomorrow, so I wanted to get the video out of the way while I was thinking about it. If you are new to my channel, again, my name is Shauna. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on September 24th of 2020, and tomorrow will be four months post op. So if you are new, please like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, so I have a few things to update you on about what has been going on with me in this last month or so um it's been a lot this month has been my most um crazy active like everything going on type month um first of all i see i'm sure you noticed i cut my hair because my hair was falling out so badly and i can do to stop it i started taking biotin and hair skin and nail vitamins but it didn't seem to be helping um I literally when I wash my hair would have like hands folds of hair and you all know that when my hair is curly it is big giant hair so I wasn't worried at first because I'm like okay I have a lot of hair I can tend to lose a few strands of hair but it was getting so bad guys I just I, I decided to cut it somebody in my last video had mentioned that my hair was getting on their nerves and it triggered something in my head which I shouldn't have let it, but I did. And I was like, oh, my hair is just getting ugly and I just should cut it off. And I immediately after I saw that comment, went and cut my hair. <laughs> and I was a little bit sad about it at first because it's my hair. And if you watch my other videos, you know that that was like my biggest deal. I was worried that my hair would fall out. But guys, I cut it and I've been keeping it like straight and so I don't have to wash it as much because you know when your hair is curly, you got to wash it a lot, comb through it and it just stresses your hair out. So I did flat on it and I usually leave it flat on for like two weeks and sometimes push it to three weeks just so that I do not have to bother it or stress it out. And I know that heat is not that good for it, but it's the best I can do right now because curly leads to shedding because people with curly hair already shed. So with the surgery and being malnourished, it has been shedding so bad. So forget it. I just cut it off and I actually am loving it like it's so much more manageable it's shorter it's cuter it has more body it's not as thin as it was and i legit don't have to do as much to it because it's much shorter now i do miss my ponytail like my ponytail used to hang down super long but other than that i'm actually loving it because not only does my body look different now my hair is different it's like just i'm going through this big 360 degree change so that was my biggest thing this month was the haircut and it turned out to be okay um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should go do that at Simply Sleeve Shauna. I'll put it down here so that you can. Okay, guys, the second thing that has been um, been an issue in this month is, well, I'm going to take it back. So my oldest son is three. He'll be four in, in February. He was an IVF baby. Um and because he was IVF, I had to take all these hormones and everything. And not to sidetrack or whatever, but because of the hormones and stuff that I took, my calcium was super, super low. And I broke a um, molar tooth in my mouth and then had to get a root canal. Um, the root canal always bothered me, pain me after I got the crown done. So I went to a specialist. The specialist told me that the crown was done improperly and then my um, tooth had got infected. So this month I had to have my wisdom tooth along with my molar tooth taken out. So I couldn't eat. My face was hurting for two weeks straight. My I felt like my brain was hurting. So I wasn't able to get adequate nutrition. And not only that, because everything was hurting, I just didn't want to chew anything. So I didn't. And then I started feeling really sick and it I was just a mess this month, y'all. I was feeling super sick. I don't think that I was drinking any water. So then I started having like UTI symptoms. So I went to the doctor and come to find out I have a bladder infection and I was seriously dehydrated. So this is the second time that I've been seriously dehydrated in four months. So I cannot stress enough to you guys to drink your fluids, drink your water, walk around, around with your drink so that you can be sipping all day long. What makes things worse about the bladder infection and the two, two teeth being pulled is I found out that I'm allergic to amoxicillin because they gave me amoxicillin for my tooth and I broke out in the hives terribly for like two, three days. So my allergist was like, don't take the amoxicillin. You got to be allergic to it. Boom, I stopped taking it. But then I'm worried like, oh my God, but if my tooth 
was infected it's not gonna heal good and it's just like i can't win for losing so then the bladder infection happens and i tell my doctor when my allergist said that i'm allergic to amoxicillin what are you gonna give me so she gave me some other kind of antibiotic that's not a penicillin i guess went home took the two doses of it because you're supposed to take it two times a day the next day i broke out in severe hives so i guess i'm allergic to anything that is like an antibiotic that can treat an infection so my doctor's like okay well you can get rid of the blood infection on your own but you're gonna have to drink a gallon of water a day and she told me to go get um the sugar-free cranberry juice and try to drink a half a bottle of one of those a day so i was in here drowning myself in water and cranberry juice thank god it went away it worked i got to do it naturally without the antibiotic and it worked so that is really good but yeah hair loss teeth loss okay so the third thing that has been noticeable to me this month is that i have been a little irritable i have a very short fuse lately and i don't like that um i don't like that things are irritating me like and it can be little things like just somebody leaving a cup in a sink after i wash dishes or if i clean up the whole house and then the boys throw toys out within 10 minutes of me doing the whole house or it's just been little things that have been so freaking like irritating to me and i don't know if that's just because i was in pain from the tooth the bladder infection if you ever had one that hurts it makes your whole like back hurt it makes your vagina hurt it just makes like you, you feel like you have to pee a million times but you can't pee so I don't know if it was because of all of that that I have been just super irritable, but I have been like, <laughs> get away from me, stay away from me, and don't bother me type irritable. So I, I recognize it. I'm going to try and work on it. Um, It is a pandemic. We're all still in the house all day long. So that is a big factor in why I've probably been feeling the way that I've been feeling. But yeah, everything's been getting on my goddamn nerves a little bit. And I got to work on that because I don't want to be like a bitch because I'm not a bitch. I'm a good person. <laughs> but other than that, that's that's how my money has gone. And I am at a stall right now. I've been at a stall for about two weeks. Um, two weeks ago, I went to visit my mom and I got on a scale and I was 179. <gasps> that's my first time telling you guys my weight so i have lost 60 pounds I, I had got down to 179 but for the last two weeks i have been right at 180 and it's the scale's not moving i'm always 180 one step 181 180 181 and i know it's because of all the things that's been going on with me because i haven't been properly hydrated i have not been eating the way that i should i have not exercised at all period um stress i'm not gonna lose weight because i'm irritable and i'm stressed and I, I know what it is and I just got to fix it. So things that I'm going to do in this month is I'm going to stay properly hydrated. I've bought bottled waters because I noticed that the big waters are not working for me. I make a cup. I sit it down. My husband drinks it. The babies drink it. And then I feel like I drink it, but I really didn't drink it. So now I'm dehydrated because I'm not drinking anything. So we're going to do bottled waters. I think I'm going to try meal prep this week. So that I can have food readily available for me. So that I can make a habit of eating. I'm going to also go back to drinking two protein shakes a day. Because then I know I'll definitely get my protein. Because I'm not eating like I should be eating. And meditation. Meditation is going to be something I incorporate into my everyday life. Because this irritability and stress. It's going to get me in trouble. So I need to woosah and go sit the fuck down somewhere and collect my thoughts and get myself together so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna exercise i'm gonna stay hydrated and i'm gonna reach my protein goals so for month five that's everything i'm gonna do i'm putting it out in the atmosphere right now i'm telling you guys to hold me accountable so that i look back at this video next month and be like girl you said you was gonna do all that stuff and you did not do it and that's one thing about me. I, I'm I'm about my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So now I'm going to have to do it. But that's it. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Again, if you're not um, following me on Instagram, go follow me. I'll put it right here. Simply see you, Sean. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>